What up guys, it's Tobias from the Sabahe Cartel. We're back with another Salvaje Speaks and today I want to talk about positive realism. Alright, this is something that not a lot of people understand and this is also something that a lot of people lack and you know, people just don't really seem to comprehend. Alright, it's very easy to be negative. It's pretty hard to be positive, but it's still possible. But it is extremely hard and extremely difficult to be a positive, to a positively realistic person when it's the time to be, you know, to apply positive realism. So with that said, what is positive realism? Okay, so the quote-unquote, I guess you could say, definition of positive realism is that you have a positive and realistic point of view, specifically on situations that you cannot control. Let me give you guys an example. When it comes down to being a millionaire, I'm 100% positive on the fact that I can become a millionaire because everything comes down on me. I can control every aspect of me being a millionaire. I can control the work I put in, the businesses I built, the videos I make, for example. I can control my faith. I can control, you know, um, how much I think about it during the day. Again, how much work I put in. I can control all those aspects when it comes down to being a millionaire. That's why, you know, I don't doubt the fact that I can become a millionaire. I'm 100% positive on that fact. But let's say that I'm talking to another girl. All right, when I'm talking to a girl, I apply the positively realistic mentality. I apply positive realism when I'm talking to a woman because I'm in a situation that I just can't control specific aspects of it. All right, I can't control the aspect that whether she likes me or not. Okay, so I'm a skinny person, all right? So let's say that I'm talking to a girl and I'm skinny and she only likes people that are fat, all right? She only likes fat men, all right? So now am I going to be positive? Right, and just say, wow, she likes fat man, but it's okay. I'm going to convince her that skinny men are amazing. All right, am I going to do that? Or am I going to have a positively realistic mentality, not waste months of my fucking life, not waste my fucking time with that bitch anymore? Uh, and I'm just going to move on. I'm going to move on. Hello? Guys, that's what positive realism is all about. Okay, you have a positive and realistic perspective on specific situations. Let's say that you like a girl. She only likes fat dudes. You know what? You're skinny. Just move on. All right. She's already made up her mind. You can't make other people love you. You can't make other people, you know, like fucking like you. All of that stuff. All right. But what you can't control is what you do. All right. What you do with the situation. Okay. So with that said, you're going to apply positive realism and you're just going to move on. Alright, the reason why positive realism is so important is because a lot of people just get caught in this idea that it's always good to be positive. Oh, you have to be positive all the time. Listen, if I'm being burnt alive, I'm gonna fucking scream and I'm gonna jump for in a fucking pool. Alright? I'm not gonna be like, oh, you know what, I'm being burnt alive, but I'm just gonna be positive because, oh, you know, like, oh, this is great. This is great. I'm being burnt alive, I'm gonna fucking die. Wow. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and, you know, not scream and just be positive. It's impossible. All right, when you're being burned alive, all right, there's something that you can't control. That's the fact that you're being burned alive. You have to apply positive realism. You have to jump on a fucking body of water. You're going to fucking burn and die. All right, that, that example got pretty dark, but I wanted to make a fucking point. All right, but anyways, that's what positive realism is, guys. And one of the main reasons why I'm making this video is because a lot of people get positivity and realism sort of confused. So, you know, that's why I sort of, I, I guess you could say, came up with the term of positive realism. You know what I mean? I remember one time I was actually in this quote unquote entrepreneur type meeting and uh, th let's just say that you know there were a lot of people in there that were being positive but they weren't looking at the situation from a realistic point of view so a lot of people just sort of got um, I guess you could say schemed you know a lot of people just got uh, played I guess you could say and they only got played because they lacked positive realism all right, they didn't have positive realism. I always tell my friends that I'm the biggest and most positive person that they will ever know because it's true. I am the most positive person that I have ever met. I've never met someone that's more positive than me. All right, but even though I'm a positive person, I'm also a positively realistic person. All right, because you can't control every aspect of life. Let's say that I want to be a millionaire, but the world is ending tomorrow. Well, I know for a fact it's not going to happen in one day. So I better start applying my positive realism into it. And just accept the fact that I won't make millions of dollars. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, drop it a fucking like. Subscribe to join the Sabahe Cartel. Learn positive realism. Start applying positive realism to specific areas of your life. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment sections. I'll be I'll be answering them, of course. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Peace.